Hey guys, I don't know if I'm in focus. <laughs> I got a request to show you how I make my zero waste tooth powder and mouthwash. I will also tell you how to make tooth paste in this as well. Just to let you know before we begin, any specialty items that I use, the calcium carbonate, xylitol, and bentonite clay, I got those all from online. They do sell them at bulk stores and zero waste stores and Whole Foods, I'm pretty sure at least the xylitol and bentonite clay I've seen there. And if you are nervous about using a product like this and thinking is it really going to clean my teeth and protect me from cavities and like do everything that I want it to taste to do, you are perfectly welcome to try the method where you use this all the way through and then you use a regular toothpaste all the way through and then go back to this alternating. I actually do that as well, but it's funny because I use Tom's toothpaste and if I read the ingredients, they're largely the same as this so that's pretty cool yeah other than that I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it I wanted to show you the stuff that I have that I store it in so this is a jar from homemade salsa the brand they sell at like Whole Foods that it's like a vegan salsa queso chip brand so I really like their bottle it's wet because I just washed it but this is why I keep my mouthwash in this is why I keep the tooth powder in this is like an old spice jar. I think it had uh, thyme in it. And I just took the, the sifter top off. And it's a perfect little jar. Then I have this little spoon-like thing. I was looking online for tiny spoons that people use for like sugar, for like little tea parties or drugs or something. I don't know. But this is a... Uh, from online marketed as like a pharmaceutical spoon so it's just a tiny little spoon I just wanted one that would fit into my toothbrush holder and that I could use to scoop the product out of here which isn't essential technically if you're using tooth powder you can wet your toothbrush and stick it in the tooth powder and then use it that's fine but it doesn't seem super duper sanitary to me so I like I'd rather just scoop the product out tap it onto my toothbrush. All right, so I'm gonna mix all my stuff in this measuring cup first. I found that that's the easiest way is to mix everything together and then funnel it into my containers. And like I've mentioned in other videos, in my Kitchen Essentials video, I think specifically, not all of my stuff is zero waste inherently. Like, here is my my funnel and my my measuring stuff. I've had these things for a long time. Like I've had, had these measuring spoons for probably six years. So well before I ever started thinking about, you know, what I do and how it impacts the environment. I mentioned this in the kitchen video. I will not just throw these things away. That contributes to the waste problem. I would rather use them until they can physically not be used anymore and then buy something in a more sustainable Material. All right, so with all that being said, two tablespoons of bentonite clay, one tablespoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of xylitol, and two tablespoons of calcium carbonate. Then I like to kind of quickly mix those things together. This is optional, but you can add some peppermint oil. All right, and at this point, if you want it to be toothpaste rather than tooth powder, because I know a lot of people don't like that, it took me a while to get used to, you can add one to two tablespoons of melted coconut oil into this and mix it all together into a paste before you funnel it into the jar. Oh, that made it worse. Alright, so this is all ready to go, and to use it, you just wet your toothbrush, sprinkle it on the toothbrush and use it that way. It does take a little bit of getting used to, it is very dry, but afterwards I swear your teeth feel so clean. Alright, I'm going to use this again. Um, it's okay to not rinse it out, all these ingredients are allowed to touch each other. Okay, so for the mouthwash, we're starting off with a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of xylitol, the optional essential oil, and a cup of distilled water. Just like before, I give it a quick mix. And 
And this, of course, you use just like normal mouthwash. I like to pour a little bit into like this tiny metal shot glass and then use it from there. But I do shake it up every single time just in case because sometimes the salt will kind of collect at the bottom and I want to make sure that I get some of it every time. But yeah, that's it. All right, so I hope you guys like that and got some good information out of it. I did use recipes from online to formulate my recipe for this. I just kind of combined a bunch together and picked the things that I thought would be the best and kind of played with ratios until I was happy with what I had. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any more requests, please leave them down below. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.